All right, guys, today I'm going to talk about what's on everybody's mind, which is the new iPhone iOS app clone. Uh, clone is a app that is designed for dentists if you get the Dental Pro version, which specifically is a face scanner that works on your phone. We're going to compare this against some of the market leaders and some industrial grade face scanners and see how it performs and stacks up against the competition. And we're gonna go through how I like to use face scans and is there a benefit to using face scans? So let's just dive right into it and get started with what I think about this phenomenal little phone scanner. All right, we're gonna jump into this software ExoCAD and how I use the clone face scan. So first I take a retracted face scan in the app, as you can see here, and I like to align it to the intraoral scan using common markers. I find that the accuracy of the retracted face scan is pretty good. You could also do a best fit alignment like you see here where I'm inverting and making it only do a best fit to the teeth and try to get even more of an accurate alignment of those two separate and distinct scans. And you can see it is fairly close. I wouldn't say it's perfect alignment, but it's decent. Then we bring in the smile face scan and we align the file of the smile to the 3D face scan of the retracted using um, certain features that would not have changed between a retracted and a smile view. As you can see here, the alignment is pretty decent for that as well, although not perfect. However, for a inexpensive $200 a year uh, iPhone app, I think we're phenomenal here. I mean, this is groundbreaking to have such power at, in the palm of your hand. Now, looking further at the details of the alignment of the intraoral scan to the retracted and the, and the smile face scan, we can see we're fairly good here. We're, we're actually uh, usable, which means I feel like I could use this information to plan a case and have accurate results with things such as midline and size ledge, interpupillary line. And more importantly, if we look at the quality of the non textured file we could see phenomenal results and clarity i don't know how they did this with the phone app but the mesh quality is better than some of my industrial scanners uh, that i use now you might be asking like what do i do with face scans well one of my favorite things to do with the face scan is to actually use it as a face bow transfer to the virtual articulator i like to look at porion and we look at um, subnasally uh, we look at Orbitali, we look at Frankfurt Horizontal Plane, and we look at the third point of reference on the articulator. We look at Bergstrom's point, which is 10 millimeters anterior to uh, Porion and 7 millimeters inferior to Frankfurt Horizontal. And then we mount the patient uh, using these landmarks. This is the most accurate way to actually mount a case digitally, and it actually negates the need for face bows and physical articulators altogether. Um, and I've stopped using physical articulators. Um, there's studies that show that this technique of mounting using face scans is just as accurate as a real face bow in a, in a, in a physical articulator. And so here we can see, like looking at the scan here, look at how beautiful the colors are represented. I find like the quality is super good of the colors in particular. The mesh quality is decent as well. And we get into the stone view where we peel away the texture. We can see that you still have pretty decent clarity of the contours of the face. Uh, the tooth mesh itself is okay. I would say it's better than I expected. The triangle density is pretty profound. Um, they've maximized triangle density, even if not so artificially, uh, but they've done so where you could um, using some AI algorithms actually pick up embrasures of teeth, which helps with the alignment. And so this is really cool. Compare this to the old school Bellis that we kind of all grew up with, that free app. Uh, the Bellis is almost completely worthless. I mean, the mesh quality is really bad. The teeth are completely distorted. Using it is basically non-functional. So now how does this compare to the Shining Metasmile? The Metasmile is a phenomenal face scanner from Shining. It actually does increase mesh density. Uh, the mesh density for the teeth is, is 
revamped to be even better and using it to align to the intraoral scan is accurate. I find that this technology and even doing a best fit alignment here like you see here where I'm just using the teeth, teeth to align is accurate enough to be diagnostic for treatment planning of things like all on X prosthetics, dentures, smiles, um, and things like that mounting in a virtual articulator. I do find that the color quality is uh, okay. It's not quite as good as some of the other scanners on the market. It does struggle sometimes with uh, black beards in particular, but overall I find that the MetaSmile is an awesome face scanner. It is one that is easy to use, and I think that the price is kind of mid-tiered, um, and it does have increased mesh density for the teeth, although the teeth are not super clear, it's pretty good. Jumping to the Vectra, which has been my go-to face scanner for the past uh, three years, I use the Vectra a lot because of the color clarity is just so beautiful to show patients. The retracted is necessary for the Vectra to pin to the uh, intraoral scan and you cannot do a best fit match because the mesh quality is too poor so you have to go by dot only alignment. But thanks to the photorealistic view of the retracted it's easy to do. Then we merge the smile face scan to the retracted and we can use best fit alignment for that which is a really good alignment. And then I like to go into ExoCAD and actually delete the uh, old teeth so I could peer through the mouth into my wax up and intraoral scan. Vectra, probably one of my favorite scanners on the market even though it scores kind of lower on the mesh quality index. And I think it's because I'm just so used to using it and my patients really like the aesthetic of seeing the Vectra scan with their mock-up. However, the stone quality and the mesh quality is very poor. I would say it's bottom bottom tier these days for what I would expect for a face scanner. All right, this is actually not uh, that bad of a mesh quality. Um, you know, even though the Vectra score is the lowest, it is very accurate, I find, as far as the shape and size of the head. The Ray Face, the Ray Face is another phenomenal, actually probably the easiest to use scanner out of all the scanners on the market. It's literally three seconds. Patient sits down. One thing I like about the Ray Face, it has a special camera just for the teeth. And so the teeth are captured at an ultra high resolution. And both the MetaSmile and Ray Face can do auto alignment of your scans, your intraoral scans, before you even bring them into ExoCAD, which is nice. But like the MetaSmile, the Ray Face has really good best fit matching um, to the intraoral scan, better than the Clone app. Um, these are, you know, scanners that cost 100x <laughs> times the, the clone app, so it, it's not something that should be considered uh, in the same category. However, if I look at the color quality from the Ray Face, I find it's pretty good. It's, it's not top tier like the Vectra, um, but it's usable. Patients don't get too creeped out from the Halloween mask look like we used to get with face scanners. Looking at the mesh quality, I think the Ray Face uh, has the best mesh quality for teeth. And this is even without any special opaquing medium being put on the teeth. Um, and that, again, has to do with the dedicated special 3D camera just for the teeth. This helps with best fit alignment of your intraoral scans to your face scans, which is the whole point. So in kind of summary, if I include price, which is kind of like the, the big variable here, we can actually see that the clone app, I rank the same as the MetaSmile and the Rayface, which is phenomenal. It's not as good of a scanner as the Rayface and the MetaSmile as it relates to accuracy. But when you consider that price point, it's almost like a no brainer. You gotta get it to try. Um, the Vectra, even though it scored pretty low here, it's still one of my favorite face scanners. In fact, it's the one I use the most. And that's just because of that color score five. I love the photorealistic look of the Vectra scan when I'm showing patients their mock-up in three dimensions and I'm rotating it around. They are uh, just in awe of what we're able to achieve with the technology. Now, this is just subjective. Uh, we didn't do any type of metrology analysis where we were looking at uh, mesh accuracy compared to some gold standard metrology scanner. Um, so these are all just kind of subjective values. Now, if you take away cost, we have some clear winners here. Um, 
Rayface being the best scanner, I think, when you take away cost, and then MetaSmile by Shining being like really close, if not almost indistinguishable from the Rayface, but it's a lot less money. Um, and then we could see, you know, Vectra and, and Clone kind of performing about the same in my mind when cost is removed. And so we are just practicing dentistry at an incredible time when we have a lot of options. There's a ton of scanners I didn't even include in here. One of my uh, favorite kind of inexpensive scanners out there is the RevoPoint uh, Mirico. It's like a cheap handheld one that's super cool. And there just continues to be tons of scanners that come on the market. I ho hope this analysis kind of helps you guys before you take the plunge and buy an, a, an expensive scanner. Go ahead and play around with that clone app and see if you like it. See if it's useful to you. Oh, we are